Man. Man. <laughs> we, are, we are off and running. We got to do our shopping and stuff. Bruce is off today. He has a doctor's appointment today. Yeah. So he's going to go to the doctor's. I'm going to do a little running around and Entree. then pick him up. Entree. And then, uh, and then we'll go to Walmart and stuff. Get a lot of, a lot of the things we need for my cooking. Uh, yeah, so we bring you guys with us. It's a beautiful sunny day and I hope everybody's doing great. And come on, because you're going to have a fun day. Yeah, let's go get our stuff for when Kelly and Kevin come. Yeah. The sun is shining, the sky is blue. No rain in sight today. Yeah. And I'm with my beautiful wife. And you're going to behave, right? Uh, that's no <laughs> promises there. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Oh, babies. Look the baby. Where's the mama? They look like they're teal. Where's the mama at? That's strange. Yeah, but teal are small, so the mama could be in there. They're that small? Yeah, they don't get very big. You sure? Because I'll worry all day. They get a little bigger. They're not a teal or a smaller duck. Okay. Look Why at the hair. Coming in for this That's thing? not a heron, it's an egret. Oh, Come egret. on. Oh, I pound my finger in the front. We'll see something. Oh, look at the lovely wildlife today, people. Tell them what that is. We got the egret and we got have the baby teal. Wonder if I can zoom in a little more. Yeah, you know, you go like this. Uh oh. Go like this. What? Uh oh, there we go. Look at them all. Beautiful okay. place to live. I'm worried. Oh, there's the kingfisher right there on the wire. Yeah, there it is. I see it. Should I flash up there? Yeah. Through the window? Where Can you get him? Yeah. Oh, That's we a got a kingfisher right there. Look. Yeah. He was right here, but. We were, it's hard to, when you're chilling on the phone, when you're on your phone, it's hard to, people you know. Bruce says, that's a Mercedes. Mercedes Benz, 4x4, four four. Imagine, imagine what that's worth. A Jeep though, it's a Jeep. Yeah, it's a Jeep. Four person Jeep. Wow. Hey guys, we got bubbles. <laughs> Ask about our book club. Bubbles! Oh, don't show me puzzles. <laughs> this is my favorite store. It's so pretty. Where do they live? Um, one lives on Prince Edward Island. Oh, nice. And then my friend, my YouTube friend, uh, from Winnipeg, Manitoba. She's coming on Monday. I like to get them each a bag. Look at what, what do I pick? <laughs> Tell them what kind you're trying. Banana caramel. Let me try one. Really tasty. Mm -hmm. You guys gotta come visit my little town. It's special. Okay, we're heading to Walmart. Yay! It's shopping day. <laughs> Love to shop. I will shop for anybody. You need me to shop for you? I will. <laughs> I need that sticker. Yeah, I do. Right here, hun. No, get the big ones. We gotta for our guests. Oh. I'm not filming a lot because I want to concentrate on my list here. Did you get some pop for yourself? Are you still married? <laughs> huh? 
Did you get some pop for yourself? No, I'm going to go to Shoppers. Oh, okay, well. I get a whole case for $6.99. Okay, all done in Walmart. I have to run over to the Pet Value to get the dog food. And then uh, go to Romano's. And then we're going to pick up something to eat at Dairy Queen. Now open in Amherstburg in our little town. <laughs> yeah. I didn't film in there, I wanted to concentrate on the things I needed, so I kind of uh, paid attention. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, next stop is uh, Romano's. Okay, gotta put the ear on. It's another hot one today. Here he goes. The cart the collection's right behind us, but he goes all the way over there. <laughs> Honey, why don't you use the cart return right there? Because I like to walk. I need the exercise. Oh. So you got a problem with that? Because you're going to be 60. You guys like his new shirt I got him? Every piece is real. Yeah, you know, got no hip replacements or knee replacements. Shh. Say it too loud. <laughs> okay, guys, we are home. And let me show you our grocery haul. And just great. Our, I didn't get to Romano's because the... Uh, Sounds like the power steering uh, power steering fluid's going in my van again. So we had to come home. So Bruce is going to have to look at that. So I think I got almost everything I can use. But yeah, we didn't get to go to lunch or anything. So we got to make some lunch after I show you this grocery haul. We got... Two boxes of uh, Cheerios for Nate. We got some dog treats. I think we got chicken and steak. Steak and cheese flavor. We got six of those. We got the pizza cheese. Now this has went up. It used to be seven something. It's almost ten dollars. Nine something for the cheese. Isn't that sickening? Yeah. So, I got my mo my mozzarella pizza cheese. Uh, I got bacon. Hopefully, this is better than the last one I got. It's thick bacon. I just need it for the pizza. Yeah. I got a container of 1% milk. And I got two packages of mushrooms. They were on sale for 98 cents. I got two sweet onions. I got some carrot sticks. They sell carrot sticks now. Did you know that? I got three of the peppers. Our peppers are, are, are not ready yet. Not the not the big ones like these. The littler ones are ready, but they're they're hot. So, yeah, I wanted some regular ones. I got three red onions. Our red onions are not ready yet either. So, and I got some celery sticks. I got a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to make uh, the dog. Well, it's for the dogs. And I'm going to make chicken pot pie, I think. That sounds yummy. I got two of the pizza sauce we like. This is the kind we like. I got some frozen corn. And I got some frozen peas. I got 18 eggs. I got some uh, croutons. I was going to make my own, but I just picked up a bag for now. Uh, a ba uh, bag. A uh, pack of hot dog buns. Uh, some potatoes, yellow potatoes. This is already open. I was munching on it. <laughs> we didn't get that. that. We already had that. I got uh, two packages of the Reese's Peanut Butter Chocolate Bars. Package of uh, cheese slices for grilled cheese. 
I never tried the great value kind, so thought we'd give it a try because it's like two dollars cheaper. Yeah, I got some arrow bars. Um, okay, and then I got some of this ranch dip. Uh, I got two of the cream cheese. Uh, two packages of cheese. I got the marble and the medium cheddar. They didn't have much of a choice, but uh, it was on two for 11. I got, these were on sale, so I got some of them. Barbecue and, uh, I got two barbecue and two cheddar. And we got some Pepsi Zero, six pack of that. And then at the at the dog store, at the pet store, we got the dog's dog food. That's what we got. This uh, well, yeah, pretty much cost with the dog food two hundred dollars, two hundred freaking dollars. Yeah, sickening. Grocery, grocery prices are getting, oh, sickening. Okay, I'm going to go put that all away and make some lunch. Okay, my salad. My lunch. I'm eating right out of the bowl, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go eat this, and then we're going to get, we're going to do a few things in the kitchen. Yes. And uh, I'll be back after I eat my lunch and have my pop. Oh. We'll get to Dairy Queen one way or another. Okay. I changed into something comfortable. I'm going to have my salad. Bruce had salmon sandwiches and a Kit Kat bar. He's out cursing outside. <laughs> He's going to find out what the problem is with the power steering fluid leaking. <sighs> He's so mad. He's angry. He's cussing. Uh, he says it's always one thing after another. He says if it's too hard, he says bring it in and have someone else do it. it. Might cost a fortune. So we're hoping it's a quick fix. But that's our story today. And then he uh, went to the clinic in town. He usually goes to the one, uh, the one clinic. Well. They no longer have a clinic there because our government cut funds on virtual doctors. So then he went to our doctor and uh, he can't get an appointment till next Friday. And then, uh, so he asked, why is the clinic closed? They had a clinic there and it's closed. Why is the clinic closed? Because they can't find any doctors to work. That's what they said. Our health care in, in Canada right now, along with everything else, is terrible. Terrible. So, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I'm going to go eat my salad, and we're going to get in the kitchen. Okay, guys, we got good news and not so great news. Well, good news is... It looks like it was a bolt, bolt loose, and that's why they, my uh, power steering fluid was leaking. But Bruce don't understand how that got loose. He he don't understand where, how, or why that could do that. So, second, his truck is another story. So, anyways, I'm gonna make some chicken pot pie with. A little bit of rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to throw that together. I'm going to make uh, my own dough, so I'm going to do the dough first, so I can get it in the fridge to chill. And I'm going to show you, I, I got myself a couple things at the kitchen store in town. <laughs> I'll show you, just a couple things. I got these beautiful, uh, <laughs> beautiful measure spoons. So we got half a cup, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, and I like this, two tablespoons. You wouldn't believe how often you need, you need this measurement. Yes, they were thinking when they made these. I had a two one, but it was copper and it kept, 
I don't know, it was wearing off or something. I don't know. I just copper turns things a different color, you know. I don't like I don't like using copper. So yeah, I bought I treated myself to these. But <laughs> and then I got this spice. I see a lot of people using this spice and I wanna try it. Fiery sea salt. They say it's really good on your French fries. So we'll give that a try. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, let's get busy making this pie dough. Well, it's a pie dough, but I'm using, I use it for my chicken pot pie. And uh, I'll show you how I do it. Oh, hi, people. Look at my hands. They're nice and clean. <laughs> After I worked on the wife's van, we went into town. We go and get pet food. And all of a sudden, I hear... What's that, honey? <laughs> oh, you know what it was? Power steering. That I already fixed. Somehow, the bolt come loose after six months. The nut or whatever. Hold on. Wait. I'll try and link the video. Last year, was it? Where the power steering went. Yeah. We were way out of town in Leamington. I'll try to look that video below <laughs> because that's funny. Oh, it's funny when well, you walk miles and miles to go <laughs> to get tranny fluid so we could make it home. It was fun. Wasn't it brake fluid? No. It's uh, power steering fluid. Sorry. Power steering fluid. That's what I thought it was on my... on my. You got black on your eye, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got all kinds of shit going in my eyes. So anyways, I took my truck for a ride last week. And I haven't been driving. It's probably been close to a year. Sort of my fault. But she still shouldn't have screwed up. So I took her for a ride and the tranny line broke. And I don't know my tranny could be screwed up. So one thing after another. So I'm underneath there having fun with the grease gods see them that's what they look like grease gods <laughs> coming to get you at the next subscription I swear, anyways if you ever got a break i'd faint if it wasn't there's a good saying and it's a blue saying. If it wasn't for luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I go to, today, I go to the doctor to see if I can see my doc. Uh, I told him all that. Oh, okay. Well, she already told you guys all this stuff while I was out there underneath wrenching. <laughs> so anyways, her van's fixed. I need one ve good vehicle anyways. You know what? Think positive. You would have heard me earlier. I was a devil. <laughs> I was the devil, people. Okay. I was saying every word that you don't want to hear. Anyways, I'll let you get back to Blondie <laughs> and her chickens. Okay. I uh, need. You can need. Uh, you're gonna need one and a half cups. Of Crisco. I use the butter Crisco. And then you're going to need three cups of flour. Okay. One. What are you making? I'm making the uh, chicken pot pies, small ones. Well, I thought you were making bread. Oh, I already made bread yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just the fridge. <laughs> the damn fridge. <laughs> that wasn't me. That yeah. was the damn okay. fridge. Okay. <laughs> damn fridge. <laughs> Three cups. Okay, so what we're going to do is... That was a van backfire. <laughs> uh, 
I got this on Amazon. It's called a pastry fork. And we're just going to mix our flour and our uh, shortening together so it's crumbly. Stop it, Reese. What? So I will be back once I get this nice and crumbled with my pastry fork. Cindy's at the door. She knows how the Amazon guy brought her mealworms. <laughs> yeah, he delivered her mealworms. So she was knocking at the door. Bruce is going to give her some. Okay, it's like how you want it. Nice and crumbly. Okay, so now we're going to need one teaspoon of salt. Uh, one tablespoon of vinegar, five tablespoons of ice water, one, two, three, four, five, one egg. What? You're booty licious. Huh? You're booty licious. Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> okay. Just gonna mix that up. You're not gonna over mix it. You just wanna mix it enough to pull it together. And if you over mix it, you're gonna have Blech. tough dough. What did you call it? <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. I better not go out there. Why? Because now I'm going to get hit with lightning. <laughs> you fuck it. She's loving her mealworms. I bet. So I'm just going to bring it together and get it put in the fridge to get cold. Get your hands right in there. Yes. Mix up that. Egg and flour. Okay. Let me get a piece of uh, parchment paper. We didn't see any yard sales on the way to town and stuff. I say that because that bowl, I bought that big Bertha bowl, had a yard sale for two bucks. It was the best deal ever. Okay, I'm going to get her in the fridge. I wanted to tell you how much you guys I love these things I got from the Pioneer Woman. I never ever ever tried these before. I'm telling you, I love them better than sponges. And I see more of these. I'm picking some up. I don't know where to get them from. I don't know what they're called, but I'm telling you, I love these 
And uh, I'm a hard person to please. I usually love my sponges, but I don't know. These things are great for washing dishes with. What are they called so I can order more? Let me know in the comments if you know what they're called. And, oh, yeah, they're worth it. Okay, I'm only doing small. Yeah, see how many I can get out of here. But, okay, to my chicken pot pie, I'm going to put, ooh, carrots. That carrot rolled on me. I know I should be using a better knife, but I like these knives. I don't know why. Uh -huh. So, you got to parboil your carrots if you're going to add it to your pot pie. So, I'm just going to boil these up for a few minutes. Probably five minutes. <laughs> Let me just get them cut up. That one got away on me. I don't like like big chunks of vegetables. That's just me. I do have good knives, but I don't know why I like this knife so much. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to boil these up with a little salt in the water. And just for a few minutes, probably five minutes. Here's my chicken. I just have half the breast. I don't like to shred my chicken. I'm just going to cut it up in pieces. Okay, and then for my onion and celery, I'm just going to chop that up real fine. I'm going to use my chopper. If you want to know something about me, I don't like cooked celery, so I make sure it's really minced. I love, I love raw celery, but cooked, oh, when people cook, when they cook, Big chunks of salary. Ugh. Ugh. No. That's just me, though. <laughs> yeah. I should do a garlic, too, eh? Okay. 
Oh my gosh, I got the e sore ear. It's always itchy. I hope it starts to feel better. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Yes. Salary must be minced when you're putting it in things. Yeah. <laughs> you could use two stocks of salary if you like. If you like salary. Yeah, I think I'm going to do one or two cloves of garlic, too. I just did two garlic. Okay. I'll bring you over to the stove. Okay, so I got my onions and celery on the burner. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to fry this up for a minute. Oh, my garlic's in there too. Fry this up for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to add a little more butter to that. And then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of flour. And we're going to cook that flour down. I got my, uh, Broth, my homemade broth defrosting. Okay, to this I'm going to add my carrots, free boiled carrots. My corn and peas. My chicken. I lost a few pieces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go salt and pepper these. Bless you, Coco. Okay, I'm going to add some broth. Hopefully some of it's defrosted.
That's okay, that'll thaw out. I'll bring you back when my broth is all dialed out. I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream. About half. Half a cup. You can add milk. Milk works too. If you don't have heavy cream, not cream on hand. I just happened to get some today at the grocery store for my whipped cream I'm using for our dessert on Monday. Okay, let that boil for a couple minutes, a light boil for a few minutes, then remove it from the heat. And that will be your filling. It should thicken right up. Okay. See how it's thickening right up? Once you get a nice thickness, then turn your heat right off. And give it a taste to see if you need more salt and pepper. I'm going to give it a taste. See if I need more salt and pepper. That'll be perfect. I got my heat off now. So it's really thickening up nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, just leave that to the side. Got my dough here. Just gonna take about half of it at a time. I've got these little uh I get these from the dollar rama. They're perfect uh size. I usually don't uh I usually don't um put a bottom on, but I think I'm going to today for some reason. I have a lot of dough here, so Uh, I got got my pans set up here. Let me get my rolling pan. Oh, okay. What I'm just gonna do is spray them, just in case. Okay. Get my rolling pin. A little bit of flour. That's not a hair, that's from corn on the cob. <laughs> okay. Just gonna roll this out. thinner on the thinner side okay okay take the pan and I'm going to cut around it 
Coco, you already ate. You already ate. Okay. Put it in your bottom. Bring it up to the side. I'm going to go do this a few more times. And I will be back when we fill them up. Okay, so I got six. Six here. We're going to fill them up. We got them filled. I'm going to move them over here. And I'm going to roll out the tops. Just going to take an empty one. And cut around it. Coco, you had your chicken already. And then sticking. I'm going to put them on top. I'll fix them nicely. I'll be back. Okay, they don't have to be perfect. The crust on top does not have to be perfect. I'm going to uh, do an egg wash on top. I'm going to put a little water in there. Also make sure they have a couple bent bent holes which they do because the pie's not the toppings not perfectly just gonna uh, go over it with some egg wash and cook them in the oven probably 35 to 40 minutes on 350 and then we'll be ready for dinner. I'll cook the rest of that for the 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 chickens. Make sure the pan you cook them on has parchment paper because they might over, you know, overflow. But that'll just save you save you a trip from washing your pan. Okay, they're going in the oven. Dear Lord, butter, I try everything to keep you in that yard and nothing works. All I can do is put you in the hands of the Lord to watch over you. Uh-huh. Oh, butter, butter, butter. I've tried everything, you guys. Can't keep her in the yard. I'm going to ask the Lord every day to watch over you. Cindy, let's go let your sisters out. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming, sisters. Come on. Come on, sisters. There's your sisters, eh? <laughs> she loves her sisters. But she likes to live away from them. <laughs> I'm going to stick one to the bird seed. <laughs> that motorcycle is going to scare them. Oh, no. Not today. Butter stopped by for something to eat. Is that full? Is there food in that bowl? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They are something, I tell you. Can't hold them back. Just got to pray the Lord watches over him. Right, Cindy? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that they're ready. Mm-hmm. 
Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, they smell wonderful. There, my friends, is dinner. Homemade. Fresh from the garden. Oh, hard work, but once you taste it, it's all worth it in the end. Good night, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. I just had to break it open with you guys. I had to. Oh, yeah. She had to. <laughs> she had to. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Is somebody gloating today? <laughs>